Hey, Stampers, Diane Dimitri here with ddstamps.com. And I think I might just be on like a minute early, maybe. Not too much, but I'm just going to kind of um, just hang back, make sure that people can hear and see me. Uh, if you can, on Facebook or YouTube or my website. Those are the three places I am tonight. Um, so if you can hear me or see me, that would be great if you would let me know. Just so I can make sure that everything is working. Uh, I will check here quickly. This shouldn't take very long. That's not a good sign. Okay, well, people can see me on YouTube. That's good. I'm not sure about Facebook. I'm not getting an answer on Facebook. And I don't get an answer on my website. Oh, I didn't put the, let me hang just for one minute. I got to grab, I forgot to put something on my Facebook, which is not good. Um, so hang out for just a second while I grab a link and go pop it into Facebook. I can't believe that, well, I can believe I forgot. Um, shouldn't take me but a second here. People are probably wondering what happened to me. Oh. Paste. Hopefully they'll hit that button and it should all be working. Okay, so anyway, for those of you who are on YouTube, thanks for joining me. I hope that somebody's on my website because I'm sure that I had everything set up there correctly. Oh, yep, it looks like they are. Yay. Okay, so the only people that were behind us a little bit were was Facebook. Um, hopefully people are clicking the get started video because I'm on there. Mm -hmm. So Okay. Okay, so we're good. Um, I did have a couple questions from people. <clears throat> they actually came to me through email and I didn't get a chance to pop them into my, into my slides, but let's pull up my slides for a second. Cause I just want to go through a couple things. Uh, as you know, um, I am on DD stamps. I'm on Facebook and I'm on YouTube and Excuse me, I'm still worried about YouTube or Facebook because I haven't heard anything from anybody. I'm not getting a... Hey, well, I'm not sure if people are out there. Oh, good. Yes, Facebook is now running just fine. Yeah, sorry about that. I totally forgot to put the link up there. Um, anyway, just so you're aware, the, a couple of things. I have some red arrows on this slide. One of them is up by the gear by YouTube. So if you, if I'm lagging behind or I'm jumping around, it might be just that the download and upload speeds are a little off. And so if you just adjust that little gear, you will get um, a better a better picture. Sometimes it's really hard for people to see, especially when I'm live demonstrating. My hands kind of don't focus or whatnot. So I know that it's hard, but Remember that these are all uh, taped so that you can watch afterwards too. And afterwards, you don't get the um, you don't get that leg time. So, also on the left hand side, there's a little red arrow. It says auto refresh comments. Those people that are on Facebook, if you are in the process of typing a comment, every ninety seconds it refreshes if that's clicked, and you will lose everything you typed. So, if you want to type comments in there, just uncheck that. And then go ahead and type in your comments. You can always refresh it um, at any time. You know, you don't have to have that checked to know what's going on. So there's my little spiel about that. I don't know what I got else on here. Let's see. Oh, questions. People asked questions again today about the virtual club. And so I'm going to just do a few little rundown of that. My virtual club is a club that you join. Um, anybody can join. It's um, a commitment of at least a $25 order for six months. And if you do that, a $25 order for six months, eventually your order total is $150 and then you get the hostess benefits of, 
benefits of $15 in free merchandise that I send you. Now, if your order is more than that, if you order more in those six months, I equal it up to what a hostess would get. So um, it's a six month commitment and it's consistently every month. And it's just a way to get a big, a big list of stuff at a cheaper cost. Uh, you get all my catalogs, you get a virtual workshop, you get uh, my step, my step-by-step -step tutorial each month for placing an order with me. And then if your order is over 40, you get your little packet. So that's just a quick rundown on the virtual club. Somebody asked me today about my Stampin' Rewards and I still do that. Stampin' Rewards is if you place a $50 order, you get what is a coin and then you collect 10 coins. And if you collect 10 coins, you get a free stamp set of your choice. So that they actually run concurrently. So you can actually be in my virtual club and get your stamp and rewards. And um, yeah, it's a great deal. So if you have questions about that, let me know. My email is DD Stamps, Diane at DD Stamps. Sorry. Uh, bonus days is still going on. So if you purchase $50 in product during the month of August, you get a coupon for $5 off a pro uh, order in September. And um, good. It looks like everybody's everybody's able to see me now so far. So that's awesome. Okay. So bonus days is a $50 order in August gets you a... Uh, yes. Denise asked, if in the virtual club, are the hostess sets available at the end of the six months? They absolutely are. So, did, so if you if you join my club and you place your order for six months straight and you earn benefits, you can purchase or you can use that for hostess sets. Um, I'm the one that places the order. I'm the one that has to figure that all, all that out. So you just let me know which ones you want, Denise. And it's a it's it's a great deal. So if you're interested, check out my virtual club link. I've got them linked at the website up at the top on Facebook and on YouTube, in, in, just in case you're interested in learning more about that. Okay. One of the questions somebody asked me tonight, let me pull it up so I can know that I have it right. She asked me about the spritzers and you said you can add alcohol to the ink in a spritzer. Do you mean rubbing alcohol? Absolutely, um, rubbing alcohol. I have both pigment and dye ink, so I don't think I can add water to the dye inks to spritz. Well, actually you, you can, but it, it what happens with the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol? So you put a little couple drops of ink in there on your rubbing alcohol. And really what the rubbing alcohol is, all that is, is that's just a way for it to get to your paper. So the ink gets into the rubbing alcohol, it hits your paper. And the rubbing alcohol is great because it dries quickly. So your paper won't be warped. If you use water, you'd end up with a warped piece of paper. I hope that makes sense. So the rubbing alcohol is just how it gets to your paper how the dye gets to your paper and it dries quickly. So it makes it easy to dye something. Um, I'm actually making a banner for my soon to be daughter-in-law for their wedding and, and my son. And I'm going to be dyeing tissue paper because we're going to make tissue paper flowers and tissue paper tassels. And she, her colors are Blackberry Bliss. And I'm actually going to take some drops of Blackberry Bliss, put it into a spritzer with some rubbing alcohol. And then I can spritz anything that needed to be dyed Blackberry Bliss. So ribbons, tissue paper, fabric, we don't need any of that. But anyway, just so you just so you know, that's just a really great way to use your same colors, all of your inks and all of your papers and coordinate. I hope that answers the question. There was somebody else that asked a question today too, and I don't remember what it was. That was from Marie in Canada. Oh goodness, I got a whole bunch of Yay, okay, people are making it to Okay, Elaine could not get logged in on Facebook. Yeah, I forgot to do something on Facebook. So um, I'm glad that people moved around. But you should still be able to, to hear and see me. Oh, I was wondering if you had any tips for working with vellum. And also, do you have any tips for decorating en envelopes going into the mail? Okay, so vellum is... Vellum, you can stamp on it and then color on the back and you get kind of a stained glass look. It's got a little bit of a... you can. And then you can also uh, emboss it. Um, vellum is kind of fun to play with. It makes great envelopes anyway with an envelope thing. And then your card actually shows through. So if you use a vellum envelope, you might have to do a special postage. I know for a while there, the 
post office. Remember when we had the anthrax scare and all that? And the post office started charging more for clear envelopes. And I was like, why? You can actually see what's in there. I liked clear envelopes because I liked people to across the country to enjoy the cards that I was sending out. But um, so that's a good thing for vellum. And as far as decorating your envelopes, I usually decorate the flap or a corner. And I usually just use whatever stamp set I'm using with whatever's inside of it. Oh, something that coordinates. Um, you could just stamp a whole bunch of envelopes and have them ready to go. And also you can use designer series paper and you can line the envelopes or you can, you can um, decorate the flaps. So lots of stuff you can do with that. Okay. I'm going to check around one more time here for, oh, I've got people texting me and messaging me everywhere. Hello from Maine. Well, good. Nancy's here from Montana, down in Hardin. Good. Cheryl's made it on my website. Good. People are actually can hear and see me. That's great. Okay. Um, anything from Stampin' Up! on Storage System for New England? Oh, thank you so much for your answer. Yes. Okay. So somebody asked about the ink pad storage for the inks. So the storage that we had in the last catalog, still your inks still go in there and they're just a little bit loose, but they work. And I have not heard anything, but I'm sure they're working on something because they always are. They're always looking for something new and exciting and whatnot for us. So <sighs> Diane. So Anna asked, for the virtual club, could it average $25 a month but not make a purchase every month? You know what? That's no. One of the rules is you gotta do six months. And the reason that I do that is because I want some consistency in my business. And so if I have you, for instance, ordering from me, and I know that you're going to order for the next six months, I know my, my orders are going to be consistent. I hope that makes sense. And I'm by giving you the hostess benefits, I've, um, it's, that's what, you, I mean, it's give and take. So yeah, they have to be consistent. I do, if somebody has an issue one month and they want to make up the next month, I always say yes. Um, but I'm not going to allow people because you $150 order, you're going to get your $15 of free merchandise. Cause I tell you, if you place an order over $150 to take the hostess benefits for yourself and then wait six months and take another $15, that's, that's not quite how it works. So yeah, I, I prefer it to be consistently for six months. But I am willing to work with people that, you know, things come up, things happen. Okay, so now my dog's going to get a little antsy because I'm on live. <laughs> and that's just how she is. So I am going to switch cameras and get started tonight. So this card here, I had to show this one to you because I got this in the mail this week from... Um, our CEO, no, not our CEO. Actually, I got it from Rich Junkins, which is like the president of the coup, president of the company. And it's just a really pretty card, pretty simple. He, they embossed the stitched framelit and then just added a piece of, it feels like just whisper white, little piece of linen thread, and then he textured another square. Super simple card. I mean, this would look great with any stamp set, but. It's always nice to get happy mail, and I appreciate that. It's nice to be appreciated, too, from the president of the company. Okay, so tonight I am actually using a couple of stamp sets. I grabbed them because these were stamp sets that I really liked in the catalog, in the regular catalog. Serene Garden, which is very different for me, and I, I just thought it was it was kind of cool. And the cards that I came up with today, I really like it. And I get to show a couple different techniques. And this Enjoy Life, which was a million dollar winner or a million dollar set for somebody. So when you hit a million dollars in sales, you get to um, design your own stamp set. And by the time I get up there, <laughs> they'll probably change that. But anyway, I love this stamp set because I love these sentiments and I love the fonts that they use. I, I actually love this whole set, but um, I really love these these fonts and sentiments that are in here. So these are what I'm using tonight to show. The Serene Garden does have a framelit, and it's not all here. My stamp room is a complete mess, and I've got stuff everywhere. But if you look at this, it does come with these framelits. So like these are the flowers, 
This is the butterfly. So it coordinates with that. This piece here, this is an interesting piece. This actually cuts out. Boy, this tape is so strong. Okay, so this actually t cuts out. And if I lay this onto this stamp, you can actually see that, I know it's weird, but it would cut out, it, it cuts out, actually I think it coordinates better with this. Here, I actually did this. This is just an embossed piece. This is the part that I really liked. I love this embossing. And I actually just embossed it on a piece of cardstock, so I'm gonna hope that it, that shows through. You can barely see it. But if you take this and then add this on top of there and run this through like that, what you end up with is these cut. And so all those leaves would cut out and you would have a hole there. So you can put paper behind it, you can put ribbon behind it. I've seen lots of different things. You can actually, I'm gonna try tonight to see if the stamp lines up with the embossing. Um, and I didn't try it beforehand, so we don't have the magic of television. It's just something I'm gonna try. And I'll put these all back here. So anyway, these, it's a bundle. Serene Garden with the, with the, um, Bramlets and, and embossers, and I just love that. It just really adds something to the card. The other thing I saw is people actually do this and then they colored it in. So that's what I'm using tonight. And let's see what, oh, I'm gonna show you my, I'm, I use the blends a lot, and I'm gonna bring these in here because I actually took two paper pumpkin boxes. This is how I store my blends. I don't have any other way at this point. And just so you see, I store one box, which obviously has all the purples, reds, yellows in here, and they're all mixed up together. If I find a better way, I'll let you know. And then this box happens to have my greens and my blues and all of my neutrals. And so that's just how I've stored them at this point. I have lots of them. I have some pulled out, so because I'm using them tonight. But I do love my blends. I just love it's. I just love how they color, and it's been a lot of fun. Um. So the first card I'm going to show you is this one here. Simple, 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 but you can see that it's beautiful stamping. I'm going to show you a couple different techniques with the blends. And so on this one, I'm using Whisper White cardstock, a Bermuda Bay ink pad, and I've got my Bermuda Bay. I've got a couple different, I guess I didn't use that one. Use these three. Okay, so what I used was Pool Party, Light and Dark, and Bermuda Bay Light. <laughs> I think that's all I use for this particular card. So I'm gonna bring in my Stamparatus. I love my Stamparatus. If you don't have one, you should. I actually have a class out there that I did on the Stamparatus, all different kinds of techniques, but I'm gonna use this tonight. And so my Stamparatus, what I like to do, I'm using the photopolymer set, the Serene Garden. Um, I've actually added a craft mat, silicone mat to it. I find that especially with the photopolymer stamps, it just gives it a little bit more oomph and I like that. So I just actually keep this one in here at all times and I use it with everything. Um, when I'm stamping with my Stamparatus, I either put a stamp set or an ink pad here just because I like this to be uh, straight. I'm going to grab my stamp, my photopolymer stamp, and my cardstock. So I have a piece of cardstock here. And this is awesome because I can go ahead and line this up. Oh, yeah. No, this way. <laughs> Make sure you line. I do that all the time. You have to line it up upside down. So that, put it where you want it. Straight. Make sure it's straight. Pick it up. Put your paper back. If you want, you can put your magnet down to keep your paper down. And I'm going to ink it up this time with Bermuda Bay ink. One of the nice things about blends, and I we I talk a lot about using the Memento ink, the black Memento black. This one here, oops, because I forgot to shut that ink pad. This Memento ink pad is pad pad is what I use the most with my blends. But blends can be used with classic ink too. So I'm going to stamp that down. One of the things I like about the Stamparatus is if it didn't stamp very well or I had some issues. I can re-ink it and stamp it again, and it will land on the same spot as long as I have my cardstock in the corner. And then I'm gonna take, you saw how I flipped that around, I'm just gonna re-ink this again, and I stamp it on that corner, and I get it placed exactly the same in both corners. 
Let me just clean that off there. Put this stamp there. Let me move out my, sorry, my stamp for that is out of the way. Anyway, so you can see how they're actually stamped exactly the same in opposite corners. One of the things I love about the stamp is it's always going to stamp when you want it. Coming in with my markers. So I'm going to go ahead and use what I did on this particular card is I'm going to use a uh, pool party and Bermuda Bay. I'm actually going to use these two colors and I'm going to color in my leaves. A lot of what I do is just straight coloring with these. And the reason that I like to do that is because you don't have lines. So with markers, sometimes you get a line and with alcohol markers, you do not get a line. It's just, everything gets blended so nicely. So I'm just shading or coloring in sections of the leaves. And because I'm not doing a lot of blending, I can just go ahead and color a whole bunch and then change colors. Um, as you can see how it works with the classic ink. And so because I'm using Bermuda Bay marker and the, and the uh, pool party it coordinates well with that Bermuda Bay ink and the ink doesn't smear. So it just gives it a totally different look. This being all done in pool party and Bermuda, Bermuda Bay. Hope that makes sense to people. Um, what I did with the, with the actual flowers is I came in with like pool party. And this is the lightest pool party. And it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I came in with the darker pool party and just added a little. And then I came in with the bullet tip and just did like some shading where I would have shadows. And then I just go back out with the next color up, blend that in. Don't overwork your paper. You don't have to. The nice thing about blends is that you can do lots of different things with them. Um, you could spend hours coloring, making all your shading perfect, or you can be like I am and just do some coloring and do a little blending and it looks great. Yeah. And it's just super easy and you don't have to take a whole lot of time. Uh, sometimes I let it sit and let it, you know, kind of, blend in together, and then I can go back in and add more color if I choose to. But what I love about this is the, the classic inks do not bleed. So use all of your, you can use all of your classic color inks with your blends, and you're just going to get a different look. Just a little bit different. Okay, so now on this card, I stamped this and colored it, as you can see. And then on my flowers here, I used some of the Shimmer Winkastella. Sometimes I forget I have this, so shake it up good before you use it. And then just come in and you can go right over where you colored with your blends. And it's not gonna, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't smear them. It just adds a little bit of glitter to it. Can you see that? I hope. The other thing I did with this card is I brought in the, the punch and I went ahead and stamped one of the sayings inside this great Enjoy Life set. I love this. And then you'll see that I've got some pearls on here. And let me find my pearls. Or a pack of pearls. Here, I'll grab this. So I have these pearls. And what's fun about the blends is they will stick to the pearls. So I'm going to take the Bermuda Bay, the light, and just color a pearl. And you change the colors of your pearls. So you can have any, and you can do it to rhinestones too. Um, and if you want to make it just a bit darker, let it dry and then go back over it again. And each layer will make it just a bit drier. So you can make them any color you want. If I wanted to go in with some pool party, doesn't show up real well, but I'll show you on the card. I did do some on the card. And there you have it. You have you can have pearls of every color that you want. Oh yeah, you can see the difference. So there's the Bermuda and there's the pool party. And that's all I did. Just added some on there. I know this is a super simple card. I also stamped the inside with the corner punch. Um, 
but it could be used for any any occasion. I just it's just so different. I really like that. So there's that one. I'm gonna run and set that stuff aside and check and see if we have questions, which we probably do. There we go. I'm back. Okay. Rosebell loves the colors. Okay, so Bermuda Bay and Pool Party are really, and Coastal Commando are some of my favorite colors. But the nice thing about that card I did, it's called Monochromatic. So Monochromatic is just shades of the same color. So it could be any shades of purple, any shades of green, any shades of pinks, any shades that are that coordinate like that will look good. It will make your project look good. That'll always look good. Monochromatic, I mean, it's just, you can't go wrong. Um. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know that you can use your blends with the classic inks. So there's a tip tip of the day. Okay, so I'm just searching for questions because I don't want to miss anybody's. Oh, here's Elaine. Speaking of new things, Stampin' Up! should consider making a mini trimmer, six by eight with both score and cut blades. I'd love one for small piece convenience. Small guillotines don't do it. Well, Elaine, we do have what's called the sandbox, and I will pop that in there. Stampin' Up! is always asking us for opinions on stuff, and so I'll put it in there. Maybe you'll get it. Mm, I think I got everybody's questions. Did I miss anybody? I'm hoping that I'm getting questions from Facebook. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like it's refreshing. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, let's go back because I got another card to show you at the stamp table. And I'm really happy with myself tonight because I didn't really practice today and everything seems to be working, knock on wood. I did practice with a couple things. Oh, I wanted to show a couple things. So some of you probably got your holiday catalog. They're going out. They went out and I know that some people have gotten them. That catalog starts September 5th. Lots of great stuff in there. Here, let me pull it out and show it to you. I probably have showed you some of this stuff. So this is the catalog. So when it comes in your inbox, don't, don't get rid of it. Don't show it. Don't let your husband get rid of it. Um, this is the embossing folder. That is my favorite. I don't know if you can see that, but let me grab. Here, I'll, let you, I'll grab a piece of the banner. So this is the banner that I'm making for the kids for their wedding. But you can see that texture on that heart. Looks like a tin ceiling. That is one of my favorite embossing folders. A couple other things I made this week. Oh, I used some of the uh, Halloween paper and came up with just cards using the paper. So I just cut out images and made a quick Halloween card. A cute little treat box, which now only has paper in it. And then this cello bag with a little label on it, and I used some some of the glitter I can see from the ribbon. This is the ribbon that's in there. It's really pretty. I think it would be really pretty on Christmas cards. Got glitter inside there. So that's a couple of things. And then this card here I made using one of the stamp sets. But I just a couple of things. I haven't done a whole lot with it. I will be um, having a workshop September 5th, probably early in the morning or in the morning, maybe the evening. That's the week of the kids' wedding. So my plan is just to do a quick holiday celebration. Here's the catalogs ready. Um, and then after I do that, I'm going to step away from everything stamping and go back to everything wedding. I hope that makes sense to people. It's, uh, it's funny because all of a sudden we're right... Like, oh, it's only two weeks away. This wedding seems like we've been planning or talking about it for two years, which we have. Um, and now it's here. So it's very exciting. We're very excited. Okay, so I'm using that same corner stamp. I'm going to stick it in the corner there. Take it up. This time I am going to ink it with the Memento Black. And stamp it down. And again, if I didn't get a really crisp image, which... I did pretty good, but there's a few spots that I think, oh, I wouldn't mind it if it was just a bit darker. 
I can go back in if I'm using the Stamparatus, re-ink it, make sure your cardstock is still in the corner, because I did it this afternoon and I got it messed up. And then go ahead and stamp it. And then you get a really black, crisp, crisp image. And I did it with Memento. And you can see on this one, and let me move this aside for now. I stamped this on Pool Party with that Memento Black. And this time I'm going to come in and use my blends. So here's the deal on this. It's a little bit different because it's not Whisper White. But you can use your blends on regular cardstock. I'm going to come in with Call Me Clover and go ahead and just color in these leaves. And you can see that that Memento ink stays nice and black and the, and the blends work and they actually will blend on here too. The one thing I have noticed, just so you're aware, well, maybe I'll do this, um, the texture of the cardstock, it's a little bit different than the Whisper White, so it's not real smooth and so it really does soak up ink. So you end up Soak it up ink. So you want to make sure when you're coloring that you're not getting, you're not going outside the lines or getting too close to the lines. Because what will happen is it eventually, if you color too much, it'll bleed right out uh, outside that image. And I, you don't notice it so much with this color. Okay, so you color all those leaves in. The other thing that I did is then I took a piece of. I always think there's like a piece of cardstock was supposed to be right here. Oh, here it is. There's a piece of so saffron. And I'm going to use the three little um, flowers with this one. Probably look nice. Apparatus. Lay my cardstock on there. I'm going to make sure I pull that magnet around. because, And then lay that down. Pick it up. Yeah, ink it with Memento. Stamp it down. Okay, I'm happy. This is where I really saw a difference with this. I'm going to move this out of my way. The nice thing about the Stamparatus is once you've got your stamp set up and you're ready to go, you can just cut, like I could cut all kinds of cardstock like this and stamp, 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 and then take all my stuff, you know, into the other room and sit and color in front of the TV. Okay, so these are three flowers, and these three flowers actually coordinate with the three flowers on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking actually a different color this time. I use so saffron on paper, but I'm actually using pineapple punch markers, blends. So for this, when I'm coloring, because this yellow is really wet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to color these in, but I'm not going to go all the way to, to the end. You know, like right up, butt up right against the stamping. So I'm just, I hope you can see that. See how I just put color down? And what happens is it continues to bleed out a little bit and go up. And then I'm gonna, that was the lighter color. This is the darker one. So the darker one, I'm just gonna put some color at the bottom where, the, where it would be darker. And not a ton. And actually, I don't even really need to do anything else because it blends out itself. But if I wanted to, you know, you could, you could blend out some color. I actually like them just like that. And I like the way that it shades it a different color using on regular cardstock. Okay. And so what I did then is I took this, these two pieces, I cut these out with the framelits and I popped them onto this card and I was able to line up my now I put this on my Stamparatus, I was able to line up my saying, so it was exactly where I wanted it to be. Exactly, it was, you know, all straight and everything. If I inked this up, and I actually did this to this one, if I inked it up, I missed a word or didn't get it quite inked well enough, I could redo it, I could just ink it up again and do it. Makes it really easy. So this one is all, the leaves are all covered, colored with the Call Me Clover, and then the flowers are done with the Pineapple Punch on the so saffron and then i did i don't know if you can see it but maybe a little bit they got sparkled because i used the wink Costello on top of them but another super easy card which is beautiful 
using the same stamp set, stamp set, it really gives you a feel for how different this is. These are different cards than I ever would have done. I would have colored these lots of bright, springy, fun colors. So, I hope that makes sense. One of the things I wanted to tell you about this particular stamp set is having had two weddings and a funeral this past week, this set was able to be used for all of them. So it can be used for a joyous season. It can be used for a solemn event. I just, I just like it. I think it's very different than anything we've had. And then when you bring in the, the framelits and the texture, that's really fun. I'm going to see, I'm going to, I'm actually going to try this on this. Uh, I need to clean out this stamp. I don't know what color I used last on that, on that stamp. Okay, so I've got this embossed. I embossed it first because I wasn't sure how to do this. And then I'm going to come in, and I suppose you could probably do either way. I want to make sure that's clean. Of course, it's just a piece of cardstock, right? So you could probably do it either way. You could probably stamp it and then line it up with the embossing. I need to get closer here so I can see. Oh, maybe. I think I got it. Oh, get the flowers off. I'm going to lose them. I hate laying my photopolymer stamps down because they're clear and you never know where you laid them. So I, I think I have it That's in the right spot. I'm going to actually get a pool party. And see if I ink this stamp over the textured part, if it works, if I like it or not. Oh, it's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of not totally right where it's supposed to be. But if you see it, can you see that? It really stands out. So it not only does it have the, the ink stamping, but then it has the texture part too. I kind of like it. It makes it really bold. So now what I would probably do is I'll take another little four by four square up here and have this as part of the card and then another part up here. I don't know, that I stamp or whatnot. Anyway, yeah, I kind of like that. I like how it lined up. Okay. So if you didn't get a catalog, oh, Diana, you're, you're not that late. And if you are, you can always catch up on the recording. Oh, I need to bring it back to me. There we go. Oh, well, thank you. Anna said it was a lovely card I just made. I don't have any of the new blends, just the old ones. Don't they do the same thing? Yeah, actually, Jewel, the, we used to call them blendabilities. And they were my favorites, but now that blends are back, I'm so happy. They're basically the same thing. They're alcohol ink. The nice thing, the difference is blendabilities were great. They were came as three markers. You bought three, a light, a medium, and a dark, and you had to buy them together. The difference with the blends are is, is the design is different with the caps, and they, they're easier to get off and on, and they stay tighter. And you get a light and a dark. You can buy them individually, or you can buy them as a pair which is nice. I noticed that like my pool party, no, my daffodil delight is, was almost dry today. So I have to get a new daffodil delight light, but my daffodil delight dark was still fine. So I just have to replace the one marker, which is nice. They are not refillable. Um, and Stampin' Up! did that on purpose. And the reason that they did was because when you have refillable markers, you have to buy the marker and then you have to buy the refill bottle and it's ink is really expensive. And they really felt like um, people would use them more. And you can always replace one little marker as opposed to refilling it. It's kind of messy. And all those refills would be very expensive. Does that make sense? Uh, so no, I don't believe that they will have refills for them, Dorothy. <laughs> yeah, Francie, that is kind of like letterpress. Um, just kind of cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so I think, let me see if I got any, Tana, Tana got here late. 
Uh, Jana, the watercolor pencils will work. They'll just have a different look. They will work just fine. In fact, watercolor pencils um, will work on the white end of the colored cardstock. You'll just get a, a little bit different look because you're adding a little water to it. Just don't get it too wet because you don't want your, you don't want it, like if you're stamping on the pool party or a different color cardstock, you don't want it to buckle too much. So yeah, but watercolor pencils, that's just another medium. It's a lot, that's a lot of fun. I'm checking one more for, you're welcome, Elaine. Oh, good. She had to sign on my newsletter on my, good. Okay. So it looks like we're good. As soon as I think we're good, I have a, I love the stamp set and embossing stamping combination. Yeah, the, that particular stamp set, that was one of the reasons I, what, I didn't really think about much about it till I started to see the embossing together. And then it's just one of those stamp sets that is great for coloring. It's great for watercoloring. It looks good even just stamped in one color and no coloring. Um, and it's good for any occasion. You'll, I think you'll find that you'll use it a lot because of, well, my life right now seems to be weddings and funerals. And um, it's a stamp set that I can use for both and still make a card that each would appreciate. Any more questions? I, <laughs> Betty Jo's late too. That's all right. I, it's okay if you're late. I'm not going to be upset with you. Um, in fact, if you hadn't told me, I wouldn't know. So. I'm going to pull up my screen here and see what I got. I want to say, oh, Color Your Season. So the Color Your Season stamp set and framelit set, the Blended Seasons, it's a stamp set with the coordinating dies and the watercolor pencils. They are still available. Stampin' Up! has this as a limited time edition, only available in August. They still have these available. I had somebody send me an email to say that they were out of, they were out of them, but they are not. Blended Seasons Bundle, the Blended season Stamp Set, um, the Framelits, and the Watercolor Pencils are still available. It's a great set. It could be used for so many. And I love this picture because it shows so many different things to use it for. It's a good one. Yeah, Anita has it and she loves it. I do love it. I almost pulled it out again today. Uh, and then I... Betty Jo Nelson asked me what the name of the stamp set that I used was Serene Garden. It's Serene Garden. Um, yeah, I almost used it again today. And then I thought, you know, you have other stamp sets that you totally want to play with and you haven't done that. So I just pulled out the Serene Garden because it was one of those that I kept saying, I'm going to do, this is the, my next stamp set. This is my next stamp set. Um, so I'm glad that I played with it today. Sometimes I get stamp sets and then I don't play with them. And then it, it yeah. Okay, so the August tutorial uses Tropical Chic. It's a great tutorial with some fun product projects in there, a couple of different techniques. If you place an order of 40, any order, you get the tutorial. Everybody gets the tutorial as a thank you. If your order's over $40, you will get a packet of supplies to make the projects that are in the tutorial. It, that usually comes about the second week in August or September. So this is August. By the second week of September, you should get a packet of goodies to make the projects that are in the tutorial if you placed an order over $40. I do that with everybody. It's kind of fun to get an idea of some other things, some papers or colors or things that you may not have. This is the stamp set that uh, the tutorial uses, which is, uh, just occurred to me that, am I on that? Yeah, okay. So it's the Tropical Chic stamp set, and then the framelits that go with it. If you're interested to know exactly what I used, here's some cards that use it. Just really bright, bold. It's kind of funny because we've had a huge weather change here in Red Lodge. The kids started back to school today, and it actually was a day that it felt like you had to have a coat on. I woke up this morning, there was frost on my car. It wasn't terribly cold. We had a big hailstorm last night, but the last couple days, have it's it felt like fall. Um, and I know that summer will be back, um, this is just kind of how it is here. We had some really hot days and now we're, this is my favorite time of year. <laughs> I like the weather to be a little bit cooler. I don't mind it getting dark at night. Um, but it's definitely fall is in the air. 
So do you get something when you buy the Stamparatus? Anybody that buys a Stamparatus from me gets my Stamparatus class. Now I did a class and I've offered it up to people. It is, uh, it's free with to anybody that purchases a Stamparatus. Otherwise it's $15. It's 10 techniques, I think, using the Stamparatus. So there's another bonus for you. I just wanted to learn how to use it and how to use it for lots of different things. So if, uh, if, if you're interested in that, there's just one more. So yeah, if you order the Stamparatus from me this month, you'd get the Stamparatus tutorial class. Then that's free tutorial. Then the packet of goodies. I know it's crazy. It's crazy. I think I'm close to being out of, yeah, it's time to do the door prize drawing here. I got to try to figure out how to, how to get back on. I showed just, yeah, I did show the stuff, didn't I? From, from the catalog. There we go. Sorry, it took me a minute. I couldn't remember how to get back on. So if you have questions, now's the time to answer them. If you want to go ahead and sign up for the door prize, now would be the time. I do need to find something for the door prize. It will be uh, a hostess set in the new catalog. Uh, I have to go see what I have. Okay, so Anna wants to see some of my sympathy cards. I, I'm going to show you... I should have taken pictures of what I sent, but I used the blended seasons um, stamp set for some of them. One of the, the sympathy card that I made this week was one of them was for my sister-in-law and um, I wanted it to be a little extra special. And so I used the blended seasons and I layered the flowers. So I cut out the first flowers and then I stamped a whole bunch more and colored them with blends and then cut out petals and, and it kind of built it up for uh for a sympathy card i'm going to switch over cameras anybody get their paper pumpkin this week it was one of my favorite paper pumpkins of all time now i have to see if i can find it okay so this particular kit came for paper pumpkin it kind of came at a good time because I needed cards and they're just, I just did my paper pumpkin exactly as it showed in the, in the packet. And so it has these, here's a use for vellum, cut out some vellum leaves. You can, you can actually, this is green, excuse me. With the vellum, you can color it to change the color or you can spritz it with a little rubbing alcohol and some dye based ink. It'll, it'll, it'll dye it. These came as die cuts in the paper pumpkin and then it also has a little baker's thread back there pink with a silver but i was able to make thank you cards sympathy cards they're really they're just beautiful and then it had the silver i made a whole bunch and i ended up making them into sympathy thank you and wedding cards because that's what i've been doing and then they came with these envelopes that we have in the holiday catalog with the silver lining it's got the speckled pink so this was an awesome kit. If you got it, you were lucky. If you didn't, if you don't get paper pumpkin and you're interested, sign up. The next kit is Halloween. I think it's 24 Halloween treats of some sort. But this particular kit is still available so as a refill. So you can actually use a different stamp set if you don't have paper pumpkin. And you will get a kit with all of the supplies, the, vel the die cut vellum, the baker's um, thread, the labels, die cut labels, the envelopes that coordinate. This made 10 cards. So that is a, that, this was a great thing for me this week to make sympathy cards and just to try to deal with that. Uh, and I have a couple of them now. I probably will just stick them in a box. I have a big box that I put greeting cards in. I know, isn't that funny, Lisa, that you were asking about the vellum, and then I was like, oh yeah, here's vellum right here. So yeah, you can do it. We can do lots with vellum. Die cut it. Anyway, um, you know, I, I'll make sure when I send out those sympathy cards that I'm not sending them to the same people. Does that make sense? So like if somebody passes away and they have a brother and a sister or family that I'll make sure that everybody gets a different card. 
it's just kind of how I roll. So I just keep a big box with various cards and I hadn't, I'd done a bunch of sympathy cards and I ran out. And so this was the week I needed to do some more. I hope that makes sense. Got it. I feel like I'm just scrambling my words. So if you are out there, go ahead and sign up for uh, the door price. And you know how to do that. It's on YouTube. It's on my website and it's on Facebook. I got to grab the stamp sets that I'm going to give away. And uh, you are welcome to fill that out and we'll get the door prize drawing going here. I do have a question I want answered too. And so each, each area, my website, the YouTube, Yolanda asked about how to sign up for the drawing. There should be a link in the, in, down in the description on YouTube that you can sign up for. Just click door prize drawing. It's probably right there. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to do another drawing for the cards I made. One, one will be given away at each area. So one in with my website, one on YouTube, and one on Facebook. And I'll tell you the question in a minute, but I want to answer Elaine's question. Elaine asked, can I buy the paper pumpkin set without subscribing? This is how you do it. So if you want to get the Paper Pumpkin Refill Kit, you go in and sign up for Paper Pumpkin with an email. And then you go in to the Stampin' Up! store and you go under Paper Pumpkin and you find the refill kit that you want and you purchase it. But you have to sign up for the Paper Pumpkin first. And then you have to purchase the kit. And then if you, and then afterwards you can go in and you can you can delete the paper pumpkin kit, you can unsubscribe, you can hold on to, you know, you, you can do whatever you want. But in order to get the kit refills, you have to be a subscriber. I hope that makes sense. So. <laughs> yes, Pat just asked about the catalog. I did mention that there is a catalog that went out. I didn't have Stampin' Up! mail them for me. So if you did not, if you do not get a catalog by the end of or let's say by Tuesday of next week, if you still not have gotten the holiday catalog, send me an email. I sent them out to everybody that placed an order for me over the last six months. So if you placed an order and you didn't get one, send me an email because I can check and look and see what happened and I'll get one out to you. If you didn't get it, if you don't have a demonstrator and you want a, catalog, a holiday catalog, send me an email and I will send them one out to you. Um, and if you did place an order and you didn't get one, by next Tuesday, send me an email and I'll send another one out to you. So it's diane at ddstamps.com is my email. Or you can message me on Facebook. Either way works. And uh, I will get one sent one out. So, Jewel asks, when you make cards, do you make a few of the same thing at one time or just one? I only make one. I take a picture of it with my phone. But I think it would be make more of the same thing when I stamp. Okay, so what I do, Jewel, is I usually don't ever make one card. Unless it's something so over the top fancy that um you know i can only do one i make cards here i'm gonna switch cameras again i make cards i make bulk cards so if i'm gonna do it's to me it's just as easy to make one card as it is to make four or eight or twelve and i like to do them in at least even numbers i don't know just how i am but I always feel like it's just as easy to make one card as it is to make a half a dozen or whatever. I have a friend of mine who always makes 12. That's just her number. She makes 12. Um, she's awesome. She makes 12 cards and she has a system at her house. And then she'll go through, you know, and she'll pull cards from each area, each different kind. And then she packages them up and she gives them to everybody under the sun and they're beautiful and it's fun to share. So, so there's my answer. I, I don't hardly ever make one unless uh, it is like the like sympathy card I made over the weekend, which I didn't take a picture of. Um, and I sculpted it and cut petals. It, it took me probably a couple hours. I, I used the blends and I really wanted it to be, she's an artist and I really wanted it to be something special. So um, that's what I did. 
Uh, Marie, I wish we could just replace the markers that run out of ink instead of having to replace the whole set when we use up only one or two colors in the set of regular markers. Okay, so what you need to do, this is what I do. Sometimes Stampin' Up! will come out, like in their holiday catalog, they might have two markers, you know, a red and a green or whatever the holiday is. Last, last year it was like pumpkin pie and black or whatnot. I would just order those and then have extras. And I actually have my markers that I've had for years. And it's very rare that I have to replace a marker um, with the regular markers. The blends are a little bit different because I I do uh, a lot of color blending with the blends. But yeah, it is a bummer that you can't replace just one marker. I would just stay on top of it and look and see when there's a couple markers. And I just keep them in a drawer so that like when my real red is done, and gone, I will put another one in there. Now I know some people will open up the marker and add refill to it, and you are welcome to try that uh, and see if it works for you. Some people it works great for, and some people not so much. Um, but that's an option too. Okay, question. Oh, Diana got her catalog and she's still pouring it over it and seeing more and more each time. You will find, I still to this day, now I've had my catalog since I got I got it in Alaska when I when we were on the cruise. And I looked at it there, not a lot, but I looked at it there. And it's just by the side of my bed and I look through it all the time. And I'm constantly finding different little things in there, little ideas, little the samples are gorgeous. Anyway, I think you'll find lots of stuff for the, for a long time. Okay. The very first card that I made tonight, I used two different colors on it. I used the blends in in two different colors. And if the first person to name those two colors at each area, Facebook, YouTube, and my website, will get a card for me. And, oh, I need to pick a number. Let me pick a number. Let's pick 67. So I wrote 67 down on a piece of paper. And whoever falls, so what happens when you fill out your door price slip is everybody gets popped into a spreadsheet. It's all numbered. Whoever falls into the 67 number gets to choose a stamp set. So 67 is Karen McNeely is the winner tonight. So Karen, you get to choose one of these stamp sets. So I have three. I have hand delivered, which is really cute. I hope you guys can see that. I have an extra Heartfelt Blooms. Hand delivered is photopolymer. Heartfelt Blooms is rubber, red rubber. And then the last one is Springtime Stroll, which is red rubber. So Karen, you get to choose one of those and you get to let me know which one you want. And because I chose number 67, the next winner is going to be number 76. So we're just going to flip it. And as soon as Karen tells me what she wants, she can either tell me in a message, she can tell me in an email. Karen, if I have your, I'm going to look quickly. Um, I might have your, Your mailing address, but if I don't, send me your mailing address, and I will need to know which one you want. Yes, so somebody asked, are you going to do a paper package for the Christmas catalog? Tana asked if I'm going to do like a paper share like I did for the big catalog. I am, um, and I want you to remember that. I'm getting ready to send something out. It's been just a bit crazy, um, but I am going to do a paper share, and I just was working on the figures the other day. So I'm going to do a paper share and a ribbon share. And hopefully, yeah, it was actually fairly decent. The, I'm not kidding. The papers in the holiday catalog, I think they're the best they've ever been. We have one that's flocked. It's awesome. It's the cutest little Santa paper with flocking on it. Um, I loved all the papers. I'm using some of the papers from there for the banner that I'm making because um, the colors worked perfect. Her color, One of her colors was Blackberry Bliss, so I was very thankful that it came back into style. Okay, so now I need to go back to my spreadsheet. And I said, Karen McNeely, you need to let me know what you want. 
And then the second winner is Pat Mock. And Pat, you will be able to choose from the two sets left that Karen doesn't choose from. So what I need you to do, both of you do, is I need you to send me your... Oh, Karen wants springtime roll stroll. Okay, cool. Karen, go ahead and send me your um, mailing address so that I can get this sent in the mail tomorrow. And then, Pat, I'm going to hold up the next two stamp sets, and you're going to need to tell me which one you want. And if you aren't on here anymore, which I hope you are, um, hand-delivered, heartfelt bloom. One's photopolymer, one's red rubber. Tell me which one you want. Send me an email, diana at ddstamps.com, and I will get that sent out to the mail to you. Okay, now, the winners for the for the for the cards were i better get this written down because my gosh i don't want to lose it here let me I usually have a piece of paper here but i forgot to write it down okay on youtube the winner is lynn whitmire she has the right even though she has a not a p but a funky looking bra bracket i understand exactly what she meant so lynn you won on um You won on YouTube and on Facebook. Looks to me like it's Debbie Johns Debbie Johnson. So send me your email or send me your address at Diane at ddstamps.com. And I believe it was Vince on my website. I just lost it though. That one, that one, yeah, Vince. Vince Ripley wins, and I've got your your address, Vince. So, congratulations to those guys. That's awesome. Yeah, it was Bermuda Bay and Pool Party, two of my favorite colors. Okay, I think that we are. That's it. We're done. We did it. We made it through another one. Um, I'm really glad I did the second one this month. I know I was supposed to do it. Last Thursday, I believe, it was or two weeks. I don't know. It, we had a really rough time there, um, and I just didn't feel like I could get on. So I'm glad that I did get on tonight. Um, like I said, I am going to do one more September 5th for sure because it's going to be the catalog premiere. So it'll be fun. I'll give away some fun stuff. I am going to do a paper share, so I'll send that information out if you're interested. And then after September 5th. I'm going to be down for about a week because that's the week my son's getting married. And, and so I'm just not going to, I've got family coming in. I got my daughter's going to be here for a couple of weeks. It's going to be a really fun. Really. I'm really looking forward to it. And so I'll do September 5th and then I'll probably won't do another one until towards the end of September. But I will tell you, I love fall. This is my time of year. I love everything about it. I love, um, I love uh, all the holidays. Uh, it's going to be fun. So anyway, I'm gearing up and I'm really happy to have been able to come tonight. So thank you as always. And if you have any questions, never hesitate to contact me. You can contact me on Messenger. You can contact me on my email, diana at ddstamps.com. And I will answer your questions that I can. Thank you. Enjoy and have a great night.